I memorize or I memorize the Omar Khayyam, Rubia, uh, Elliot, is Elliot, that was the thing to remember. Another <laughs> question? Someone? Yell out something because we can't see you. Yes. Right so you've got the word and yeah. you've got jazz. Yeah. How did you select the music to go along with your amazing story? Well, the way I work with musicians is that I figure that they know what they're doing within the changes. And if they're jazz artists, they, they have an agreed upon series of harmonic changes. So they have freedom within that structure. Now that we're talking about how they begin to tune and then deviate from it. But it's that kind of freedom. So I told them, okay, get a groove going. And when it's when it is going, I'll know and I'll jump on. That's what I did with Jerry Garcia and San Rafael. They had a great studio up there with, with four pianos and five drum sets and a neat console and everything, just the way it should be. It's all going to dust now. But in, in those days, we'd go in there and he said, well, what do you want to play? Well, Jerry, got a group going. I'll know what's happening. I'll jump on. So we did the devout catalyst out there in one day, started at 9 o'clock in the morning and finished at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Time to go out and have a few pops. <laughs> <laughs> Other question? Uh, Tim, Tim, do you have a question? Oh, sorry, it's not a hand right here somewhere. Um, Bernie. Your uh, longevity and your continued creativity at this age. I have only one. What age is that, Ken, by the way? Longevity is luck. I thought at 65 I'd be gone. You know, seriously, I believe, oh, you'll never make it to 65. Because I, I was a test pilot for a few hour large, and, uh, three packs a day and that sort of thing. And, uh, and right. Lots of juice. But uh, <laughs> I stopped all that when what was this guy's name? Ed Ed Morrow uh, let go or uh, another guy bring up Arthur Godfrey let go. But uh, the reason I'm alive and well is my wife is a nutritionist. So you can be sure that I get walnuts and uh, cashews and uh, strawberries and blueberries. You're crazy for blueberries I get my diet is perfect. Hmm. Besides the color, color that she tells me is perfect. And I agree with <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done fruits and vegetables now that you've done colors? Yes, and I've got that girl right where she wants me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. What were your questions? Oh, I'm sorry, I just wanted to one last one. How thrilled I am to be here sharing this experience with my 14 year old son. He's a freshman in high school he's taking an art class. He's taking lots of notes because he's going to write a paper about this presentation. He's supposed to do it in from the point of view of a fictional character. Um, I'm going to do some kind of Franz Kafka. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Francie. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's just an honor to be here because I've been a fan of yours. Such a long time. And I have to ask you, have you ever experimented with psychedelics? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tried LSD with a, with a doctor who brought it over from Switzerland. But it, it, it's too extreme a, a drug. It, it drives you really kind of the edge. I have a lot of friends who have gotten very high on LSD. But, uh, um, uh, it's not advised for me. Uh, it's, uh, uh, holding your breath is a great high. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, everybody.